I don't know about you, but have you been bombarded by adverts from Jace AI in the last couple of weeks? Well, I have, and that's the reason I'm making this video. I want to see whether it's actually a good email AI assistant and give you my unfiltered thoughts on whether it makes the cut for you. So what I'm gonna do in this video, is give you the pros and cons and thoughts of who this app is best for and whether it's worth the pricing that they put out. So this video is kind of sponsored by Zapier. If you're interested, you can find them linked below. They're one of the leaders in AI automation and we'll talk about them a little bit later in this video. So Jace AI, very interesting. They're a small company that is growing quite rapidly. I believe the founders are from uh, Meta and uh, what I was reading a little bit about them is that they actually were one of the team that developed Llama which is AI assistant or AI capabilities within Facebook's platform or Meta's platform. So they are from uh, a relatively uh, reputable background from what I'm reading about and on their website they have a little bit of information about how they are registered for things like GDPR compliance and things like that. So you can read about more of the security stuff. I'm not a compliance expert, so make sure you read about that before. But what I am aware of is the general pricing in the market for these type of apps. So there are, I guess, three apps that I know about quite well that are in this space that do a similar job. So there's one called Sanebox, there's one called Superhuman and Jace, as well as Fixer and other apps that I do know of as well. And um, they're varying in price. Sanebox Box organizes your emails, but it prices itself at I believe $7 per month, whilst Superhuman prices himself at $30 a month or 25 if you pay annually. And this one, Jace AI, comes in at, for the pro pricing, $33. So it works out at $405 a year. So not a cheap investment. And if you wanted to go for the pro plan with the yearly, uh, without the yearly pricing, monthly, it's gonna be $49.50, I believe. I'll double check on the screen for you. And I believe the standard pricing was $25 per month. So still fairly high for what you're paying for a relatively new application. So what do you get with Jace AI. So very simply, you get a Chrome extension. This is a Gmail extension which plugs over the top of your existing Gmail experience to do a few things for you. So the first of those things is to auto draft emails for you. So it learns the language that you're typing in from previous emails and starts drafting replies to people, which is very, very helpful. It will also create labels for you, as you can see on the left-hand side of your Gmail, to essentially help you to uh, organize emails that might be on a particular topic. You can also do a bunch of things in settings, like refine your type of language, as well as things like rules, which can help you to tr train the AI essentially to reply back in a better way um, and naturally help those auto drafts get better. Now, as you can see, as a whole, it's probably not a great offering for the $33, but they also have a another experience which is available I believe only on the uh, web, but you can see here, it's a very clean user interface that allows you to use AI search, so you can ask with natural input. You can use chat, which allows you to um, organize uh, your email using some templates and essentially, essentially a chat bot that will allow you to communicate with that. Think chat GPT plugged into your email and you can start to see how you can use the app, but also ask questions. And you can also see your inbox and all of the relevant things that it's organized for you. Now this on its own is very helpful, but let me show you what the um, AI replies look like. So if I press draft, what it does is open up to this window on the right hand side and starts corresponding with the email itself. Now this syncs directly with Gmail. So if you have your Gmail open, then that drafted reply will sync so that you can carry it on on mobile if you want it. But the actual draft does take a fair bit of time. I actually, uh, did an example here, it actually took around about 20 to 25 seconds while I was talking to actually generate that response. Whereas I've seen much faster faster with other apps on the market, even Gemini producing a faster draft reply than something like this. Now, of course, this application does come with a much better experience and you can uh, narrow down things like rules, which allow you to create certain things. So for example, if I said only reply to emails that, for example, Bob sends with language that uh, I don't know is calm and friendly, but reply to Sarah a little bit uh, more sort of uh, relaxed. I don't know, what whatever it may be. Um, but the idea is to give your email, I guess, some context each time it replies to somebody and produces those auto drafts. Did you know that over 1.3 million people use Zapier with AI? This can help you save time 
optimize repetitive tasks, and get more done. Zapier helps you to create workflows and automation by building simple or complex workflows and connecting nearly 8,000 integrations. Zapier is one of the leaders in AI automation, and that's why over 3.4 million companies use Zapier to get things done. Get started today for free down in the link in the description. Now you can go here and narrow down what's called labels. Now labels can be created from scratch. So for example, I created one earlier where it essentially prompts based on anything sent by a clothing company that I follow to help split the email out a little bit more efficiently. So that's quite a nice feature and something we're seeing in other applications on the market uh, like Superhuman and I believe another one's doing it, Notion Mail also do this as part of their uh, free plan. So again, something that isn't necessarily um, specific. This writing example is basically the extraction of a few emails and what you've replied. So basically it gives you a picture of how you typically write and then trains the AI off that so it matches the emails. So again, something helpful, uh, not vastly um, different to what we're seeing on the market right now. So there is another feature called draft, which allows you to start writing or using your voice to essentially get uh, your draft ready for the inbox to start going. So that again is another helpful feature. Now from playing around with this application, I think the pros are that the rules are quite a unique feature. I haven't quite seen this available just yet. And also auto labels being so accessible is actually very, very helpful too. But something that Notion Mail does offer naturally from the basics. The application is quite pricey. For what you get, I'm not actually that impressed overall. They're still early days in their company, so I think it's still too early to tell whether this application is going to be a banger or something that's just gonna come out of the park and do a fantastic job. But at the same time, uh, it's very clear that they still need to develop this offering. Now, other applications in space like Fixer, which I will be doing a review on, so do make sure to subscribe, uh, do offer uh, AI note-taking on top of this. And that sort of layer does warrant the pricing more because those sort of uh, things can naturally add up um, and help save you time. For example, if you're getting an email organizer and an AI meeting note-taking tool, then that's going to help you save the cost of using an AI meeting note taking tool and bundling those two in the price actually makes more sense. One of the things I wasn't as impressed with is when you get on the pro yearly pricing as well, there's actually a usage area. For example, you're only allowed to use 15 daily auto drafts even as part of the pro plan. Now this naturally renews after 13 hours, which is I believe uh, half a day. Well, it is half a day, but I don't know why it's 13 hours. Maybe it renews every 24 hours, I don't know. But as you can see, it's also got AI messages and I've used six out of 240. Now it's unlikely you're going to be able to hit that mark, but for an application that is so pricey, I would not expect a limit on that um, as something that you would use very uh, much, if you know what I mean. And um, I don't know, because it's text-based, I think the API costs are dramatically lower. So I'm trying to understand why that's the case that they've capped this, um, I don't know. So Jace is probably going to be that balance between Samebox and Superhuman, but it's probably better priced at say $20 at the maximum per month. The application is probably best suited if you're a busy professional that uses Gmail and just wants to plug something in to work in the background for you, as well as having a fairly good interface. I think once they add a mobile app, once they add a desktop app, and they offer some improvements to unique features with the AI, I think it could be an interesting, compelling offer. But right now, my personal opinion is that it might be a little bit too expensive. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this helped you uh, in finding your tool or whether Jace is right for you. We'll do a review on more email AI tools, so please do subscribe. And like this video if you enjoyed it and share your comments of Jace if you found it useful below. Thanks so much and I'll see you very soon.